subscribe and press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update from Urban Gardening. You can buy sunflower seeds from your local nursery or garden center or you can order them online. Links for the same are in the description box down below. Take medium sized containers which should be at least 4 to 5 inches deep. Make sure they have holes for drainage at the bottom. To start your seeds, use a mix of 70% cocoa peat, 30% compost and 1 tablespoon fungicide powder to avoid rot problems. Fill 70 to 75% of the pot with the soil mix. Firm and press the soil with a flat object to make an even surface. We will plant two varieties in a same container. For that we will make a partition with a plastic strip. Carefully take out the seeds from the seed pack. Now put seeds 2 to 3 inches apart from each other and don't place them too close to the edges of the container. Sunflower seeds can be sown successfully from Feb mid to April end for flowering during summer and the rainy season. Now cover the seeds with a 1 inch layer of the same soil mix. Press the soil to make good soil contact as seed to soil contact is vital for good germination. Now water the soil lightly with a gentle shower, being careful not to displace the seeds. Tag or label with name to avoid confusion later. Keep the pot in a sunny location and make sure the soil remains moist and well drained during the first 10 to 15 days. After 5 to 6 days, seeds will start to germinate. During this time, continue to water the seeds every day and make sure the soil is moist. Keep the soil moist but not soaking wet until the sprouts emerge from the soil. At this stage, true leaves will start to develop, which are usually oval in shape, but as more leaves come, they look like the heart-shaped leaves of a mature sunflower. To boost seedling growth, you can mix half tablespoon and PK fertilizer in 1 liter water. Water your seedlings with this mix, repeat after every 10 days for rapid and healthy growth. As the seedlings grow, they need as much direct sunlight as possible, so the stems will be thick, strong and able to support the large flower heads. As seedlings turns 5 to 7 inches tall, 
we can transplant them at their final locations. With the gardening tool, take out the seedling by keeping the root ball unharmed. Ten to twelve inch diameter pot can easily accommodate one plant. Cover drainage holes with the small stones. Stones will allow any excess water to drain out freely by keeping the soil media in the pot. Sunflower needs well draining rich soil that retains moisture. To attain this purpose, use 50% garden soil, 25% compost, and 25% cocoa peat or perlite. Fill the pot with the soil mix. Keep at least 1.5 to 2 inch gap between the rim of the pot and the soil surface for healthy growth of the plant. Dig a hole at the center and place the root ball into the hole. Tamp the soil back over it and firm the soil around the stem to provide some support. Water in well. As soil settles down, add more soil if required. We can also plant them in groups. In a 25 inch diameter pot, we can easily plant 8 to 10 sunflower plants. For healthy growth, plant seedlings 5 to 6 inches apart. After transplanting, water well. Sunflowers will grow best in those locations which get direct sunlight for at least 5 to 8 hours every day. They need long hot summers to flower well. The period before and after your plant grows flower buds is a critical time and not getting enough water may harm your plant. Sunflowers are heavy feeders, for that mix 15 to 18 granules of DAP or 1 4 tablespoon of NPK fertilizer in the soil per plant. After you fertilize, water the soil to help dissolve and activate the nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium and trace elements in the fertilizer that will promote healthy growth. At this stage, buds will start to form. Once bud initiation starts, no more leaves will develop, but the leaves will continue to unfold.
Sunflower turns to follow the sun during the day, referred to as heliotropism, which increases photosynthesis by 9%. This will ease at flowering when at this point most of the heads will remain facing northeast. The movement is caused by a bending of the stem and a lifting and lowering of the leaves on the opposite side of the plant. Sunflowers are some of the best type of flowers you should have in your garden. With more than 70 different varieties, these annual plants come in tons of different sizes and colors. Inspect the sunflowers every 3 to 4 days for spent flowers and deadhead them as needed. Deadheading would allow the plant to put energy into fresh growth and more flowers instead of seed production. Once your sunflower is in full bloom, you will have around 10 to 15 days to enjoy the beauty of the flowers. The blooming phase provides the opportunity for bees to pollinate the flowers and fertilize the seeds. To harvest the seeds of your sunflower, wait until your sunflower drops and turns brown. Seeds should be ready to harvest within 100 to 125 days after you planted the flower. 